Hey guys, so before I get started with this video, I really want to apologize to everyone that uh, had commented on my videos, but I guess YouTube marked them as kind of spammy uh, comments, so I went ahead and approved them, but I guess since it was marked like that, I guess you just you can't reply to them for some reason. I, I'm truly sorry guys. I always like to comment back and kind of help everyone out. I got some great responses on my DIY sled video and my Delay Norn program that I'm doing those videos so I'm really sorry if you uh, commented on one of my videos but I haven't been able to reply but uh, I'll make sure that I go check out your YouTube channel if you just uh, let me know that you have a channel too and then let's just small communities like this let's just get together and uh, spread positivity so uh, I hope you enjoy this video guys I really hope you do please like comment share and subscribe and just stay tuned this will be a highlight video of all the kind of like videos I've been taking of the Lane Norn program that I haven't been able to make into a video. So it's just gonna be a highlight video. I'm loving the program. I've come a far, a long way in this program. Uh, my PRs are up and I'm feeling good. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Make sure you uh, critique my form because I know a lot of you guys are uh, more advanced than I am, but uh, let's just keep spreading positivity. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Hey guys, so I'm going to start with uh, some commentary right now, uh, just going over pretty much what I've been going on with the PH3 program from Late Norn. I'm actually really, really, really loving this program, guys. Um, I'm hitting numbers that uh, for reps that I never thought I would be able to do. I'm hitting 225, like um, this time last year I was struggling for maybe 5 sets of 5, and now I'll do sets of anywhere from seven to nine reps and that's even leaving some in the tank so i'm really really enjoying this program doing a lot of different accessory work as you can see oh caitlin bam that's another thing i'm really liking she's doing it with me so the program is really good for both of us we are hitting some cool prs we're hit lifting weights we never really thought we would be lifting um, I love the program, like I said, three days I'm squatting, benching, and then two days I'm deadlifting per week, so it's really awesome. Um, really can't complain. Only thing is, a lot of these, uh, the accessory work that he says to do, I just don't have the equipment in this gym to do it, so I'll just uh, kind of go up on the spot. Or there's some things I just can't do, like leg extensions. I can't do leg extensions just because I have had three knee surgeries, like I've said, and it just really hurts my knee. But, um, yeah, so I'll just do some uh, leg press or front squats just to really focus on my quads. Uh, really enjoying the program. I know I keep saying that, but it really is. Uh, but yeah, I just hope you enjoy the rest of this video, guys. I don't have too much to say. Uh, just the video, I just wanted to speak for itself. Uh, like I said, Kaylin and I are doing it together. So I am a week ahead of her, so that's one thing. But like I said, we're doing it together. Really enjoying it. Uh, it's just a great program. It's, it has all the numbers and reps and sets that you need to hit. And I know that I can hit it because it's going off percentages. So I'm lifting smart, not lifting... Uh, with my ego, I am following the diet pretty well. I don't call it a diet because I am, I'm not dieting really. I'm just eating my calories, my macronutrients that I need. Uh, about 210 
protein, 110 fat, and then 400 grams carbs. So I'm feeling really good, never really tired. I think that's what's contributing to all these numbers that I'm hitting. But hope you enjoy the rest of this video, guys. There will be some stuff at, at the end of the highlight video, hopefully. So please stay tuned, enjoy the video, and like, comment, share, and subscribe if I don't talk anymore at the end. And peace out. All right guys, so just got done with uh, squats, bench, and then leg workout. So second week, I'm loving it. It's gonna be in the highlight video, of course, but uh, I'm really excited because I did the calf raises, seated calf raises with a dumbbell on my, my, on my knee so I can really contract my one calf at a time. And I have to say, because I did have like three surgeries on my knee, it's really hard for me to feel the contraction in my quads and my calves, but on this exercise with a uh, blood occlusion and stuff like that, I can actually feel my uh, my um, my right calf muscle contract like nothing I have ever felt before. Like it's been years since I felt my my calf uh, contract like that. So I'm super excited about that. Hopefully, I can do this, add it into my ro programming at, even after this program, and really help it. Hope that it grows my calves. But other than that, uh, I love this program so far. It's really fun. It's really giving me um, not just physical strength, but mental strength, because after doing squat, bench, deadlift one day, and then going two days later doing uh, squat and bench, and then legs, it's really uh, taxing on your body. So it's really, you gotta dig deep into your mind and really uh, focus on what you need to do and prepare yourself beforehand to just um, get the job done. So anyways, guys, about to go eat some food. There will be some more footage after this video. It's not just gonna be a workout video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace. All right, guys, so I just got done working out. I am going to get my post-workout meal in, which is going to consist of ground turkey, tuna, and a roll. Uh, not that great of a post-workout. I'm just being really lazy right now. And I have a lot of studying to do tonight for my analysis of movement class. So something quick and easy, and then it's off to the library to study, or IHOP. I might go to IHOP to eat some more food, but I gotta contain this beard, but otherwise, that's it, guys. This is what I'm eating right here. A roll, some buffalo style tuna, uh, 93 lean ground turkey with some hot sauce on it, and that's it. And it's really a struggle trying to get that, was it, 34, 90, 100 calories in, which is crazy. But I only found, I actually found out that that's actually pretty normal for me when I don't track. I usually hit around that, so I don't skip a meal or anything like that, but uh, when I eat this much food, I feel really good and strong with my lips, and I feel a lot fuller, so whatever it is, it's working. Gotta keep those muscles full of glycogen, so.